Lose the feeling, take the shock away. Joy Division Orchestrated is a new look at Joy Division's music, Ian Curtis's lyrics. It's a way of using all those elements that have come across over the years uh, and making it interesting, making it special. Uh, I'm quite aware of what Tim Crooks as a conductor and an orchestrator can do. I've been working with him now on a separate project for four years and whilst I was quite skeptical at the start about what difference it would make, I've gone on to realise and appreciate the power that a 40, 70 piece orchestra can bring to a piece of music. The music wasn't written for an orchestra in the first place, so you've got to find a way, got to find a way to make this music work with orchestral instruments, where it was, obviously it was written with guitars and drums. And um, so that's the first challenge. The, the next big challenge is to, to keep it sounding like Joy Division, because if you, I think if you go too far away from Joy Division, then you've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. There's extremes of, energy and kind of anger and passion and all kinds of stuff and you can with an orchestra you can sort of enhance that at both ends of the scale so you can go quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter until it's uh, that much more sinister or that much darker than it was in the first place and then you've also got the other end you've got the power of an orchestra so as well as as well as or oh, yeah, you know the band going full pelt once you stick an orchestra on top of that going full pelt then you know you've got you've got a pretty powerful sound. The process was quite long. I mean, we booked the gig a year ago and have been thinking about it from then. So we had to get a set list together. We actually um, tuned the set list in the way that Martin Hannett had taught me so that every track goes into each track with a sympathetic key. So that was the first um, incarnation was to listen to Joy Division with these keys intact and watching them build. I mean, this has probably been the most difficult thing enjoy division that I have ever done. So working with Hookie has been great fun. I got a freedom to just work with the music as I wanted to and then I got Hookie's input at a later point and his instincts are absolutely fantastic so there are things that he was spotting that I'd done somewhere that actually worked much much better in other places and so, so his instincts kicked in at a later stage of the process really and he got involved to, to, to really bring it all to the state that you're going to hear it now.
Curtis has one of those wonderful, wonderful things in rock and roll law, in that, you know, he lived fast, he died young. He, his, his output, his work was, sounds fantastic today as it did 40 years ago when he died. And he will live forever as at that age. It's an amazing thing, the whole myth and folklore around that is, is incredible. You know, we're listening to it now through the through a veil because because of Ian's suicide and his death. So there's a dramatic element that, for whatever reason and, and very very tragic reason, reason, everything is heard and seen through that veil, and that this is a band that were just in 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 their infancy, and you know that's 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 an incredible thing because. Where does that go? I mean, obviously it went to New Order, but where would it have gone? And so the, the whole thing is, I think, seen through a filter and that, that allows you, well, it heightens your experience of the music, I think, definitely. And it makes the lyrics that much more poignant, you know, that you know, Ian was speaking so candidly about his life and his experience. And I think that's, the, the power in that music really speaks to people and that's, that's why it's endured so, so long. We'll share a dream, step outside the angry boys in the one room. We'll give you everything and more. The space of what can take much more. Albert Hall, the silences were spectacular in between the songs and in the quiet moments. You literally could have heard a pin drop. And I took it that that meant that we'd achieved something. I, I did think, and people were telling me while I was doing it, that it was quite magical and it was heart stopping in, at times. And being there on, on stage, with the orchestra, with the other players. The company, it's my first time in a company, um, was absolutely electrifying. It was, it flew by. It was almost like the first gig that we did supporting Buscox at the Electric Circus in 1977. It was, it went by in the blink of an eye. A combination of nerves, fright, pure adrenaline and then to finish it was and you know realize that people had loved it was absolutely amazing Right. 
guitar.